Hello learners, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I am your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about reproduction in fungi. There are two types of reproduction takes place in fungi. One is asexual reproduction while the other one is sexual reproduction. The asexual reproduction is found in all fungi. However, the sexual reproduction is not found in imperfect fungi which is also known as deuteromycota. So, Let's talk about how the fungi are going to reproduce asexually. So there are four methods. The first one is spores, conidia, fragmentation and budding. So if fungi wants to reproduce asexually, any of this method can be used depending on which type of fungi we are talking about. First of all, spores. The spores they are the common means of reproduction in fungi. It means that mostly fungi reproduce asexually by the help of spores. The spores they are produced in sporangia. Sporangia is like this. This is kind of structure. You can say that this is like a box in which the spores they are present. Here you can see the spores internally are present. So outside this is a layer inside there are spores. Spores they can be produced by sexual or asexual processes. It means that mitosis can take place or meiosis can take place. If we talk about the spores, the spores they are haploid. Haploid means that they have n number of chromosomes or half number of chromosomes. They are non-motile. It means that they cannot move by themselves. They are small in size and produced in large numbers. Here you can see that inside the sporangium there are so many spores present. Moreover, they are dispersed by the help of wind. So when this sporangium is going to bust, all the spores they are going outside into the air or different places by the help of wind. Because they are very light, so wind can easily take them from one place to another place. What will happen that after landing on the suitable place they are going to germinate it means that they are going to grow and will give rise to a new fungal hyphae so for example here we have the spore this spore is going to grow and we can have a new fungus hyphae the second is sexual reproduction method is conidia conidia is plural while the conidium is a singular when you talk about one it is conidium when you talk about more than one it is conidia the conidia they are non-motile it means that they can also not move by themselves they are produced by asexual spores it means that they are produced by the help of mitosis as well as they are produced in large numbers in comparison to the spores, the conidia, they are present outside the body, not inside. We saw that in spores, the spores, they were present inside the sporangium, while in case of conidia, they are present outside their fruiting body. They are cut off at the end of the modified hyphae and that hyphae is known as conidiophore, comes from the conidia. Here you can see this is conidiophore and on the conidiophore we have these spores which are conidia. They usually make chains or clusters on the outside of the conidiophores. We can see the clusters and the chains of the conidia. They can survive for weeks and cause a rapid colonization on new food. For example, if the spore is broken from here and land on some kind of fruit, they are quickly going to reproduce and give rise to new fungus. Next reproduction method is fragmentation. Fragmentation means simple breaking of mycelium of some hyphal fungi. It means that there was one big mycelium and this mycelium is broken down at some places and this process is known as fragmentation. What will happen that this part of mycelium it will give rise to a new fungi and this part it will give rise to a new fungi. So it means that from one mycelium after the fragmentation we can have one and two more fungi. Each broken fragment give rise to a new mycelium. So this is how the fragmentation takes place. The last asexual reproduction method is budding. The budding is observed in unicellular yeast. How they are going to produce that they are going to make a bud which is produced 
from the fungi and then it is separated and grown the budding is just similar to the buds which are formed on the potatoes for example if you left the potato for a longer period of time you can see that there are small sprouts or small outgrowth on the surface of the potatoes and these small outgrowth they are known as bud similarly in the yeast the cell it is going to multiply its nucleus then one nucleus is going to move to the outgrowth of the cell and after that it is going to pinch off from here and then we can have one and two yeast cells so that are the methods used by the fungi in asexual reproduction let's talk about the sexual reproduction the sexual reproduction takes place when two hyphae which are genetically different but compatible for mating they are going to come together it means as we are talking about the sexual reproduction it means that two parents they are required so in this case two genetically different hyphae they are going to come together and then going to share their nucleus let's understand this process by the help of this diagram here you can see that we have two hyphae one is negative mating type one is positive mating type it means that genetically they are different one is positive one is negative so they are going to come close to each other and after that they are going to fuse their cytoplasm the fusion of cytoplasm is known as plasmogamy here we can see the plasmogamy will take place we can see here they both have fused their cells in which their cytoplasm has fused and after that the fusion of haploid nuclei will take place the fusion of nucleus is known as karyogamy karyo word means nucleus after the plasmogamy their nucleus they are going to fuse with each other here one nucleus this one is another nucleus so they are fused by the help of karyogamy and we have only one nucleus in basidiomycota basidiospores by the basidiocarps while in ascomycota ascospores by the help of ascocarps they are going to take place it means that when you talk about basidiomycota fungi their basidiospores are involved but when you talk about ascomycota their ascospores are involved in the fusion process after the karyogamy we will have diploid nuclei it means we have 2n number of chromosomes then the meiosis it will takes place and by the help of meiosis the number of cells they will increase and then they are going to form the spores and they are going to disperse and germinate and will give rise to new fungi but this is not the case always sometimes the karyogamy does not takes place karyogamy means the fusion of nucleus it does not takes place this process doesn't takes place and two nuclei they coexist and divide most of the fungus life it means that negative and positive nucleus they are going to stay inside the cell it means one cell has two nucleus and they are not going to fuse and in this way the fungi it's going to live divide most of its life such fungal cells they are known as dikaryotic or heterokaryotic hetero means different it means that they have a different nucleus dikaryotic di means two it means two karyotic means nucleus two nucleus so they can be called dikaryotic because they have two nucleus or they can be called heterokaryotic because they have different nucleus so that was our lesson on reproduction in fungi if you still have any question related to this topic you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video